Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about how to find images. Um, so as graphic designers, while it is ideal to be able to create our own images, um, sometimes we are not able to do that or when working with specific clients, we need to use the images that they provide. Um, and so um, here are a bunch of ways to source really good um, images to use for your projects. Um, first thing I want to talk about is the idea of stock images. So stock images are high quality generic images that are available for sale from for various libraries. You can see here, this is one source iStock. Um, and so all these images are generic in their originally generic. And so it's up to you for you designer to select the good ones and potentially turn them into your own. Generic in this instance is a good thing because it allows us to, you know, use what we know about design to make it our own and to solve the specific problem we're looking for. Of course, we all are familiar with really bad stock imagery. And so I would encourage you to be very careful about the images that you are selecting. Um, you want to make sure that the images are not too specific um, and that they are produced in high quality. You can um, so, for example, if you, you know, looking at the Adobe stock here, you can see I searched briefly in families and found a lot of images that feel both authentic, but also um, not specific, not too specific so that I could add my own text, image, graphics, cropping sort of thing to make them my own. Here are a few um, well-known uh, stock sources for paid images. Um, ideally, when using paid images, the client will pay for things like this, um, but there are also tons of really free, re good free resources. And so here's a few that you can get started with. Um, my favorite, one of my favorites is called Unsplash at unsplash.com. Um, and the images are you know, free to use, get, um, submitted by people who just love making images. And they are all really high resolution and also tend to be really trendy. Um, you can also see here on the right hand side of the slide that there is a link or a list of links to tons of free stock images and those are listed in Blackboard for you to check out. Also, Google Images provides a really good resource to look for images that have been marked for use for anyone. Um, and you can find those images using Google search features by simply clicking the usage rights filter and you'll see a couple options to search. Um, and what Google does is actually searches for the attributions of the images to make sure that they are acceptable for use. You might be wondering what are attributions? So attributions are basically the different licenses, licenses that the images hold. So sometimes the, um, the, when the owner or the you know, the photographer uploads a photograph or an illustrator uploads a drawing, they can say that the image is free to use, except they would like attribution. And that means that when you use that image, you can use it however you'd like, but you need to say who the author is. And so there are various um, types of ways that attributions work. Sometimes they say this can only be used for personal projects. And this is some, they'll say this is okay for commercial use. It's really important to understand what, Im what the regulations and rules are so that you are using the images correctly. Um, speaking of how to use images correctly, uh, we'll talk briefly about copyright. So copyright is when someone takes an image and basically um, legally binds their name to that image, making sure that they're the only ones, basically makes sure that, that everyone knows that they're the owner of that image that asset and that everyone else respects that ownership. So saying that, there are a couple of rules about copyrights, but basically you can't use images from other people without their permission. And so sometimes the permission comes from a written, um, sometimes you can get the permission simply by making a purchase, which is what stock libraries are for. Um, material, it's good to know that materials can be copyrighted even if they don't have that little copyright C insignia. So it's, it's important that you do the research before taking an image. Um, it's also important to know that you, um, there are penalties for um, going over those copyrights. So it is important to make sure that you um, do the right thing, the ethical thing. Um, 
In the case of a copyright, if you're not sure, it's best to contact the original author of the image or asset that you're trying to use and just ask if there is a fee or a cost to use the image. Sometimes all it takes is just asking if you use it, especially for school projects. Oftentimes, um, other designers or photographers are very willing to share their images if they know it's for school. Um, most imp importantly, um, just, just ask if you're not sure and then take the appropriate steps to make the images, um, use the images appropriately. And of course, um, if, if you have the opportunity, make your own images. As designers, of course, we have tools like Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign and we're able to make our own content. And so that's, that's certainly ideal or collaborate with artists, right? It's certainly possible to work with artists if photography or drawing is not your thing. All right.